Wrong answers only. Why is Dark Souls uh, a beloved game? Wrong answers only. I think it's how every enemy is so sexy. So, so drop dead, goddamn gorgeous. Every enemy you look at, it's it's mostly just like a fantasy dating simulator. It's like gargoyles. I would be so down for a risque night to alone together. Thank you, Deku. Toxic blood arts. The enemies are so kawaii and uwu. I felt dirty just reading that. It's so cozy. Dark Souls isn't beloved. People just fake loving it so they can watch other people suffer. It's actually a great... It's, it's a multi-level marketing long con. You're not dead? I thought you were dead. It's because of how charismatic Barry Bullcut is. It's honestly all on the strength of the intro cutscene. That's actually the entire success of the game. I come this way. Now this way. Perfect. 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 You're totally good, Carly. I you you might not have been here for it, but I was just gonna say There's another door, by the way. The fuck? Did I never look at this door? I don't think I ever even tried the door. Um Carly, I was saying earlier, uh, if the Wi-Fi doesn't hold out, that's totally okay. We don't have to have predictions. This one won't even tell me that it's locked. You're telling me it won't even say if it's locked by a contraption? The other ones are locked by a contraption. This one is just shut without an explanation. Wow. That's a new one. Shut by the hand of God. This one's blocked by a chair. <laughs> Not a trace of doubt in my mind. What does blue be mean this time? I have to know whether or not to trust the people who have blue in their names. Is blue good here or bad? Goodbye, my friend. so close to 50k shafts i don't want to risk it like i did yesterday and lose cheese mood here's my strategy just bet 10 percent of your max all the time if you bet 10 percent of your max all the time you can't ever like really bottom out i mean you could but you know but it's much harder to What's Blueby here? Blue is good, but what does it mean? How does that miss? Walk me through. Walk me through the hitbox, Miyazaki. What, how does that miss? Right there. Okay, that'll do it. Oh shit, I just pissed them both off. That was a mistake. You're dead. You're dead. Get wrecked. You're dead, kid. That's a mistake on my part. Okay, we love it when they swing like that. Prediction is if you can survive 10 minutes, blues, yes? Hell yeah. Okay, bluebies, you have my actual trust and respect. What the fuck do we do here? I don't actually know. Like, that's a rhetorical question, but I don't actually know. I don't really think I can run past him. What if 
I believed with all my heart he's not going to beat spider Mommy in the third attempt. Well, RIP to those shots. That's all I got to say. Um, okay. I believe, okay, so here's how I'm currently thinking about it. I believe there, this pillar, this like arch thing up at the top of the screen, right like here, actually blocks the, le the left guy's view part of the time. Not always, but part of the time for me. So it's possible for me to be in a one archer area. The problem is I don't, I cannot run past him. I thought maybe I could push him off, but I can't, I, I didn't have any luck last time, even with trying kicking. I could try like a parry. Honestly, I think parry might be a really high rate of success, but I have zero confidence in myself parrying. Tony says, fun fact, I have you on my TV while sorting through baby stuff. My wife just said exclamation Lucas because she's not used to watching you swear so much. I'm so sorry. Exclamation Lucas in the chat. I'll do my best. I'm not stalling chat. I'm just thinking, how do I do this? I also thought maybe I could break one of those windows at the top, but that feels risky beyond risk. Okay, we'll go right this time. I have no idea why. You absolute turd. No. <sighs> I swear. I swear. I swear. James Cooper, congrats on the sub. That one's on me. Thank you for the 20,000 channel points. At least that was efficient. You only needed to leave three more, live three more minutes. With all due respect to the Bluebees, there was never any chance that I was going to survive 10 minutes there. I'm starting to get nervous. I may go kill one person real quick just so I can get a little bit of souls and uh, refresh my... Not refresh. Uh, 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 uh. Like, um... Fresh concrete. Fix my broken uh, sword or my my weak sword. Fresh concrete. Thanks for the gift sub. Thanks for the twenty thousand shots. Fresh concrete has really not paid off at all after the original fresh concrete. The chat said it was not a waste of time. Fresh concrete. We like you and think you deserve some support. Well, that's sweet of you. Okay. All I want to do is kill one of you, be distracted from my fate for two seconds at a time. Come here, you little shit. I missed where Fresh Concrete started. There was a uh, place in the well yesterday i think it was yesterday yesterday tuesday um in the painted world of Tyriumus, where there was a wall that looked like it was made of fresh concrete and i hit it with my sword because it looked weird and it gave way 1500 these guys are so good for souls holy shit down in the depths of the bone wheel wells yes in the bone wheel wells hey um wifey do you have any advice for me hmm you have survived no impressive no mostly i have that died is... mostly i have died uh... 
Scott, let's try something crazy here. Let's try something crazy here. Uh, let's try something new. I have an idea. Okay. Um. So, I have this item. I was thinking about it earlier. We're going to do something. You, <laughs> you've survived? No, you've mostly died. <laughs> what an encouraging wife. <laughs> you've survived. Impressive. <laughs> I have an item called the Cracked Red Orb. Cla cracked Black Orb. Which says, Black Eye Orb, invade world of murderer of fire keeper. It's found on a keeper's course, corpse. Invade the world of a murderer of a fire keeper to defeat the perpetrator and reclaim the soul of the fire keeper. If I have a fire keeper soul, that lets me reinforce my Estus flasks. The Black Eye keeps constant watch on the city of gods in Orlando. Oh, shit. I thought it was just an item I could use. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, let's go there. Fuck this person up. Give us a new thing to my wifey. And then we're chilling. Instead, I think it's probably a thing that is like... It probably like unlocks an area or something. Wait a second. Unless, can I put it on here? Is it in the consumable category? I think it is, right? It's blacked out, so I can't use it. Okay. Do I keep it on my hotbar just in case, though? I could. No. All right, I guess we just got to go keep dying of these fucking archers. Uh, since we've last been here, I don't feel like we can probably go through the, uh, the brilliant door. Just trying to think. I, it seems like we're pretty, like, we're pretty, like... There's just one way ahead, it looks like. Really one thing to do here. That's not die to these fucking archers. <laughs> Kinda miss the painted world right about now. Not me. Not me. A little bit though. I just don't miss the uh some of the enemies there. I do really need a uh I could always go back to the main world and and start exploring. There's definitely stuff we could still do there. I have a whole ass list. And we're stronger than we ever have ever been. So honestly, that might be smart, but... I just don't know what the... Strategy versus these archers is. Okay, chat. Do you think, hypothetically... Is there a predict? There's a prediction live right now. I probably shouldn't do this. Um, but I'm sitting here thinking, hypothetically, I could go stand on that ledge. But that would be pretty bad for the bluebies right now. Next time I die. Who's stopping you? My respect for the bluebies is stopping me. I'll do it. I just am not going to do it right now when there's a, I'm pretty sure, a timed prediction on my death. <laughs> You have the full support of the pinkies? I'm sure I do. Okay, well, one of you... Why, why are you so much faster than your brother? Ow, fuck. Okay, one more to get bleeding. There it is. Hell yeah. Okay, so you might actually be the less good knight. Missing Painted World and its peaceful inhabitants, quote-unquote. 
I don't miss bone wheels. I don't miss the brain guys. I don't miss. Not backing up. I don't miss bird butt women. Listen. Yeah, I don't miss bird butt women at all. One at a time here. One at a time. I miss the bird butts. I'm sorry, bird butt women? They're crows, but they have... I mean, I have no idea that they're women. That's assuming a lot. But then... It... But... They're birds, but they have very prominent butts. And the camera really liked to show me their butts. That's all. The ca it's the camera's fault, really. Booty birds? Yeah, the booty birds. I submit that it's not the archers that are the problem, but the architect. I think you are correct. The architect is the real enemy here. Architects can suck it. It's, this land is peaceful. It's inhabitants kind. Is that what the... Is that what Priscilla said to me? Is that a quote from Priscilla? Ouch. Goodbye. Ah, uh, front seat. Yeah, yeah, front seat. Yes. don't think there's anything else to do here. Other than simply get good. This one goes down. Why would it go down? Fresh concrete. Fresh, fresh concrete. Fresh concrete. Fresh concrete. Why does this exist? Um, uh, just need four minutes of creative stalling. That's what I, I tried. I tried. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Yeah, what the fuck? I'm getting sweaty. Sorry, I was distracted. Oh, I aggroed you because I. That was dumb of me. So I walked over towards you. Okay. The thing is, if we were to be able to, like, string together a couple of these failed attempts where I get my my souls every time, we would be rich. Because each one of these runs is, like, 10k souls almost. Maybe, like, 7k souls. But, like... Shout out to my thrust and the extra distance. That's all I gotta say. Shout out to the extra distance on the old. Oh, God. The old. Oh, Jesus Christ. The old thrust distance. Please. No, no, no. Not like this. I keep, I keep messing up. So the funny thing about all this, uh, like, thrust talk... Is I watch a uh, I watch a farming sim YouTuber who I'm not gonna name because I don't want it to be like I'm making fun of them. But I watch a very like uh, a relatively large farming sim uh, YouTube creator who constantly, without like meaning it this way, says the dirtiest things. Like this is a very PG, very very PG person 
who uh, never intends it this way, but is always talking about the very large load. He's stalling. I'm not stalling. It wouldn't be fair. Ah! That was worse than the other ones. That was worse than the other ones. I, anyways, this person's always talking about their enormous load. It'll be like a load of logs or something. They're always talking about the enormous load. <laughs> and just like every single 20 minute farming sim video I watch from this person, they are, they say like seven of the dirtiest things possible without ever intending it. And the comments are always like, redacted you know what you said 20 minutes into this video right he's like what else am i supposed to say anyways we have a prediction for ryan rage quitting today i'm about one death to fall damage away from going back to the fucking valley of the drakes all right the valley of the drakes exclamation lucas I'm looking, trust me, my to-do list over here is looking real tempting right now. Hydra. Warm and soft. Ceaseless discharge. Back to the depths. Almost ran off that edge. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do a ledge science thing real quick. That's a good point. We're gonna do the ledge science thing before I... Do anything else. Cool. Dope. Science! Fatal, thank you for the follow. Um, Damn, it took you 14 days for Dark Souls 1. No, this is actually my second playthrough. We're, uh, it took me two days for the first playthrough. Second playthrough, we're doing a, uh, a no-hit run. So that's what's, uh, that's what's going on here. Um... Ryan, the trailer for 100 Years of Solitude TV show came out the other day. Dude, Megan just sent me that. Uh, like, yes, like this morning, actually. I haven't looked at it, but... Um, I heard that. I hope it's good. I haven't watched the trailer yet. Yeah, we're actually doing a gravity-only death uh, um, playthrough. Hear me out. Here's something I haven't tried, right? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Have I tried this? I can push it back. Can I put, I think, I don't think I've done it yet. Can I try this? Can I push it one more? This is just gonna be the same thing as earlier, right? Ryan, what you been reading lately? I don't know if you know this, but we're going to have a baby soon. So I've been reading a book called Crib Sheet, which is uh, sort of like data-driven. Uh... There is something all the way down there. So hold up. There is something all the way down there. Um, data-driven, like, early parent, like, early child's life uh, book. Um... Been reading that. I'm about like 20 pages away from the end of Farewell to Arms. It's taken me so long to read it, but I'm really close to finishing it. Uh, if I go this way, is that correct? Contraption does not move this way. You fucker. Okay. So we'll go this way twice. Potentially. See what happens. I went to make breakfast. Are you still stuck at the archers? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. One more. Lower me. Lower me one more. Let's go. Let's go. That's got to be something new. Wait. 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 Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, 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 okay, now I just run down. I run down the stairs. Okay, 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 okay. 
Wait, 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 wait. I think I ran out of these, this building earlier, busty bondage mommy building, without ever coming down here. There's a bonfire. Oh my God. Are you Gwyn? That's a rhetorical ass question, just uh, to be really clear. Gravestones. Bonfire lit. It's lit. Uh, I need to actually uh, do some humanity real quick. Ring of the Suns? Firstborn. Well, here's what I know about the lore. <clears throat> Salaire is the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, who is looking for his son. I think. I, my handwriting's kind of bad, and I don't know. The, the form of the sentences is really not good. Um, ring of the sun's firstborn boosts miracles. Lord Gwyn's firstborn, who inherited the sunlight, once wore this ancient ring, boosts the strength of miracles. Lord Gwyn's firstborn was a god of war, Ares, but his foolishness led to a loss of the annals and rescinding of his deific status. Today, even his name is not known. I'm going to pull a literature major thing and double check my understanding of the word annals. Annals means a record of events year by year, which actually is not a distinction that I knew, but that does make sense in hindsight. The annual, the annal, the historical record. Year by year. Interesting. A concise historical record in which events are arranged chronologically year by year, although the term is also used loosely for any historical record. Interesting. Uh, boosts miracles. Okay. So what does that make you? You got your toes out. Are you Lord Gwyn? You have a big sword? Or are you the firstborn? You could be the god of war. These could be annals, technically. Annals lingua? Anal Orlando. Uh, let's do this. I'm kind of bummed that this is just going to be a bonfire. I'm kind of bummed that it's just a bonfire because I really thought we had a new way into this building. <laughs> Tony says, wife comment update. Uh, she read the rhetorical question reminder. Well, that doesn't seem like an interactive chat. And yet somehow we make it work. I know, right? If you're not going to talk about directly answering the questions, what do you even talk about? I don't know. Mostly poop. We talk a lot about poop. That's a big one. It's the first ever bonfire in the game where finding it demoralizes you. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, kindle it as well. Um, also, we talk about balls. That's true. We talk about things Lucas shouldn't hear about, most likely. Pee pee, but to a greater extent, poo poo. So what if I put this ring on? I, I d was kind of just resisting it because it seemed like it probably wouldn't do anything. But what happens if I put it on? Anything? It's on. I mean, it boosts my miracles, but like... I do love that spells are basically called miracles in this game. That's such an interesting... It's such a... Hilariously, it feels like very like... Yeah, if you could cast spells, that would be the ability to... Yeah, absolutely. That would be basically... Fresh concrete. The ability to cast miracles. Yeah. That's what other people would call it. Okay, well, 
I wonder if I can do anything else. Ugh. We found the upper limit of this thing. Let's see if it'll go down one more. I don't think it will, but maybe. I suppose there's a chance, right? I need to go this way. The other thing is, does this little... Right here. I mean, I could try jumping. work, right? Doesn't move. Hmm. I think we might really get to the wheel of games and I haven't defeated these archers and that's really depressing. That is depresso espresso. Okay, but hold up. Wait, is this actually better? Because if I die and then I have to go to that bonfire... Wait a second. But then I get reborn at that bonfire. Then I still have to hit the contraption to get me out of here. I don't think this is better. Wait, what's going on here? Why does that bonfire exist? It stops me from having to go down that thing, but I still have to turn this thing. Hold up. Just for science. Just for science. These archers are pretty infamous. Don't feel bad. Think of him like a boss. I do like that approach. Okay. I was thinking maybe there's a, there's something where if I move the if I move that thing up, but I'm still down here, maybe there's something I can reach that I couldn't reach before. Oh fuck! I forgot we had a prediction lab. My bad, guys. I'm really I did not remember that there was a <laughs> prediction lab. Yo, that's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad for sure. This is why I don't believe. Hear me out. While we're doing it, let me try one more thing. Let me try one more thing while I'm here. We'll press it once. Maybe if we press it twice, then die. Something will really be different. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I, I fully brain farted. I was really in love with the idea that maybe there was something here. But I am going to test it a second time now that I'm here. Okay, is this different? No, this is where you go to this thingy. There's just the... Oh, hello. Holy shit. There's just the the upper and the lower entrance to this building. There's still that chest there. I don't know how to get there still. That's fine. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. I actually do need to die if you would like to do me the honor. I'll kill you first, then I'll jump to my death. Um... Hear me out, guys. Maybe there's something down at that bonfire that there wasn't there before. It, it's just, does it, does it, am I, I'm not saying does it make sense because I don't think it does, but am I at least making myself clear? Like, why does this bonfire exist? Because this is not a quicker way up than the other way is. The other bonfire is equally as far from this place, basically. Here, I have to, if I die, I have to hit that thing and then re... This is making sense. 
Why is the bonfire here? It's here for warmth, probably. Can I use this thing down here? <sighs> Tama? I feel you, but Tama myself. I think I just have to kill the archers. I think I just have to figure out a way past them. Okay, now from here, the lower one should go to here, right? Lower one goes over there. Upper one, upper one. I think I want to go sleep at the other fucking bonfire before I go through here, but whatever. All right. Well, back to the archers, I guess. Hmm. Man, I'm striking out. Striking out. This would have been an easy W for the Bluebies. I am really sorry. I know that doesn't give you your shots back, but. All right, we'll get one of you at a time. I have fresh concrete stuck in my head. Great asset, great, great asset. Fresh concrete, fresh, fresh concrete. Speaking of great asset, has anyone seen uh, anything about that new game? Uh, what's it called, stock? What's it called, stock footage? The like co-op kind of horror video game where you create like a, you create like a content warning, not stock footage. <laughs> content warning. Doesn't that look fun? I've seen only a couple clips, but. Ah uh, yes, the game, stock footage. Come on. Hi, Elisa. How's it going? Content warning seems interesting, but I don't like it. It looks fun. Stock footage, you mean? Okay, fuck me. I'm trapped. Oh, I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> I'm just trying to get behind the one guy who has two HP. This guy, two HP, right here. There we go, Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, you're good, Carly. I think uh, prediction would be fine, actually. Um, my frustration is purely with these archers and myself. Uh, a prediction wouldn't hurt that. We'll get there. We'll get there. Thank you, Carly. 235 is the goal. 235, okay. Nine, 11 minutes, I could do that. Yeah, 
Come here. Come here. So I can get you backed up against the wall. Not like that, guys. Exclamation bonk. Hi, Rebs. How you doing? down how's it going reps what are you up to today do, 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 do. head empty no thoughts just great asset great great asset okay you're dead now your turn ow you nearly knocked me off goodbye suck it Absolute shit day today, but that's not important. How are you all? I'm doing well. I'm sorry it's been a shit day. My bad says otherwise, but I hope you're able to make it past this part. I've been there. I've been here, so. Alright, come here. Come closer. Come closer. Oh, good. I pissed them both off. Fuck. No, no, why? Why? That almost killed me. I just got here. How's Anal Orlando? I don't like it so much. Not a huge fan of real Orlando either. But. Oh, that guy fell to his death. Thank you for the gift, my friend. Alright, so here's the one thing I was thinking. What if we put lightning on our weapon because that is very effective against targets uh, that are resilient to both magic and fire. Fuck. I thought maybe actually that would be good for people who have uh, metal armor specifically, which is the one thought I one thought I had. The only good thing about Orlando is that Carly lives vaguely close to that. <laughs> How many times, times has Ryan died today? A lot. A lot. Uh, what else do we have to benefit us here? I do not know. All right, let's go for it. Let's go for it. I hope your day gets better, Rebecca. Okay, I think we apply it. run we're gonna try hitting this person here goes nothing chat you absolute shitter Back in this place, by the way. Maybe I use this. Hold up. No, it's not here. It's in my, uh, it's in the other category. It's a... Uh, right here. Sunlight Medal. Can I drop it here? Sunlight, a badge of the ultimate honor. If I drop it at your feet. You come to life and behead me, and I can thank you for taking me out of my misery. <laughs> okay. I just can't think of a reason for this bonfire to exist, and that's frustrating to me. It could be like an oversight or like a weird... I mean, for the lore, I guess, for the item, but like, that seems like a lot of work just to get a bonfire.
Uh, popped in time just to see the fall. Hi, RJ. How you doing? Reb says, I, fun fact, I hate nicknames, but uh, I like the one that the community gave me four years ago with Rebs. Oh my god, Rebs. You just reminded me. Your username was different at the start, right? I'm just worried I'm missing something super obvious about how to make progress here other than the fucking arrow archers. I feel like uh, we got an estimated two tries left after this. What do you mean? Using bits so you don't miss it. I think you missed a death. You should be 238, but I will check after stream again and correct it if it was mine. Dude, thank you. Thank you for the shout out for the... Why do I have my bow out? Why do I have my bow out? Thank you for the, uh, for looking out, Deku. I'll change it. I trust you. Um, thanks for the heads up. I forgot about that, Rebecca. That's, oh man, I would not have remembered that your username was something different until you said that. I'm not a huge fan of nicknames, mostly because I feel like I got some, like, very bullying nicknames most of middle school and high school. <laughs> I, uh... Other than that, nicknames for, like, uh... I think, like... Oh. Nicknames for a lot of, like, uh... Sort of sporty boys are also not very fun. I, I feel, Hot take, the worst nicknames in the world are the nicknames used for... Are, are the like set of nicknames for sporty white boys like they're not like generally it's your last name that's the big one it's just your last name dehumanizing weird weird not dehumanizing but just like weirdly like then there's all the like camp sport buddy pal all of those are bad um Yeah, none of them are good. <laughs> As a baseball fan, this ring's really true. First off, what's it like being the last person alive to enjoy baseball, Lambrecht? I'm sorry. I had to. I was watching. I was watching a couple minutes of a Dan Giesling stream the other day, and he was like, he was like, he has like three boys, all under the age of like 10, I think. They're kids. I don't know if they're all boys. Um, and he was talking about how he's at the age now where like his kids need uh, his kids are like on teams that need volunteer parent coaches, and so he's coaching like three he's coaching like three different sports right now. And he was like, "Hot take: If you're a parent, get your kid into soccer. Get your young kid into soccer. Kids understand pretty like pretty simply: see ball, chase ball. They get that." Baseball? You trying to teach a three-year-old how to play baseball? It's like, hey, hit ball, run to series of white things in the correct order. However, you randomly need to stop running. to keep me sane while I'm out working. If a, of course, performing nerd. If a certain series of events occur, um, also halfway through you switch sides and then you're on the other side of the thing. He said. So, he's, so he says all that, and then he says the funniest thing. He says, other than there's one thing that baseball delivers that no other sport delivers, which is that every person should have the experience growing up of striking out in front of all of your friends, your loved ones, and your coaches. <laughs> every every kid should have the, uh, the, the growing experience of striking out in front of all of the people who are there rooting, rooting for you. <laughs> Which I thought was hilarious. Don't talk shit about baseball. I played way too much baseball. I can talk shit about it. If you if you don't want your sport to have shit talked about it, I think it means that you're aware that deep down your sport is a little a little a little weird. I'm fine with you talking shit about running. Running's a weird sport. There's plenty wrong with running. Running's a boring sport. Talk shit about it all you want. Oh god. Hit the wrong button.
If you don't want shit talked about your sport, play a better sport. I I actually do like baseball. I can't watch it these days. But um, I'll tell you what. I read a really great baseball novel about 10 years ago, and I'll never stop talking about it. If you like, if you like baseball and you haven't read The Art of Fielding by Chad Harbach, um, a really, really incredible book um, that I recommend constantly. But... Everything the MLB does to make baseball more palatable to people who don't like baseball makes baseball worse. If you had to pick a mainstream sport today that would not be around in 40 years, what sport are you picking? Here's my secret presentation on why I'm picking baseball. Here's, I'm picking baseball. <laughs> there's no, there's, I mean, first off, football with CTE makes a lot of sense. A lot of sense. I'm not saying, like, you get to decide what sport doesn't exist. I'm saying, like, why... What evidence do you have for why you think a sport might not continue to exist in 40 years? I think football, unfortunately, has such a deep, deep, deep culture that it's going to be really, really hard to... And, and still entertainment value that it, it is slightly near impossible to change slash get rid of. Uh, that's cool. I mean, it's fun. I would really, really like fewer people to be damaged by CTE, but... Um, but I think baseball is in much greater danger of going away than football. <laughs> Baseball's been on the decline for a while now. What do I fucking do here? I don't... I Sorry, <clears throat> Lucas. Uh, what do I do here? Just win? I don't know how to. Also, there's a person shooting me in the back the entire time. I'm considering asking for advice. I'm not yet, but I'm actually considering it because I have no idea. Exclamation Lucas for sure. Yeah, Siege, I don't think it's actually, like, uh, possible to just, like, have a sport completely disappear off the face of the earth. I just mean, like, disappear in terms of relevance. Okay, we tried the window. Window did not work. One of those is going to kill me. I fucking hate this. Hey, uh, Score Monkey, would you be comfortable, you personally as an individual, giving me a very, uh, very little about a, a, amount of information about how I can, how I, how I should proceed? Just Score Monkey, to be clear. Um, it, and only if you're comfortable with it. Uh, I'm not asking chat for, for tips or anything. I'm just, uh, I'm trying to remove my own frustration, which is getting very high. Like, examples of options. Run past them. Kill them. Square up. Um, that kind of thing. If you're on the right track, you just gotta get good. That's enough to hear, honestly. That's enough to hear. Just gotta get good, chat. I'm gonna go sleep at the other bonfire, because this bonfire is making me mad. The other thing we could do, we have a couple minutes we could do before the wheel. I could also just go do a different thing. Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. 
I don't feel like we go back to the crest of Artorius, Astorius area. I feel like that's rough. I feel like the drakes are rough. Um. Huh. I appreciate that, Squirrel Monkey. Squirrel Monkey says, uh, the real thing to know here is that this part is hard. It's okay to be stuck here, just like it's okay to be stuck on a top boss. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, my nose is itching at it. <laughs> Just noticed we are fast rolling. When did that happen? I don't know what that means. So I'm just going to remi remind people. I have a guess about what that means, but I'm just going to remind people. If you have questions about uh, stuff that has happened in the playthrough so far, uh, the easiest place to talk about it is in the Discord channel, the spoilery discussion channel. Uh, also, unfortunately... Please keep the chat in uh, English because we have to moderate it. But shout out to all the fans here. All right. Let's do it. Let's just keep going. A couple more attempts. Let's do it. Does that mean I can't say Rosmavor? It doesn't. I mean, no, you can type that one. We have, we have a, a, a special... Uh, we have a special uh, exception for that word. <laughs> I could try shooting a bunch of arrows, but there's no way I outtank these guys. I'm just going to walk through quickly the different things I have thought about, but I'm not really entertaining right now. Um, I could try shooting uh, arrows at these guys, but I don't think there's any way I like outtank them. If I got one of them killed, I think it might be a little bit more doable, but I, I just don't know. I tried breaking one of the windows, but I didn't try breaking the other two windows. We know there's a broken window over there, but I don't know if I can break windows. Um, we are fast rolling, quote unquote, which I think just means we're wearing little enough armor that we are rolling a little bit farther or quicker. Um, but I'm just using this armor so that I don't get as much damage from lightning. And I don't actually know that that even works because I really haven't tested it out very well, but that's just my thought. Um, let's think here. I feel like we had to parry. The, the last nights that we fought, I feel like we had to parry. And I may be wrong. I, I may be misremembering. Like, knights with a capital K, I feel like those were people we parried. Ouch. Um, so it might just be we need to get up there. We need to quickly dispatch one before the arrows of the other guy in the back drain our HP slash knock us off the fucking thing. And if we're going to fight them, I think we need to fight them on the flat part because unfortunately... Being on the angle there means that, like, maybe it's the lock-on camera, but basically it means I get I get hit by that person, I fall off to my death, and the fight is over. Please don't kill me. I think it would be the final straw. Bye, Elisa. Thanks for being here today. Are we still doing predictions? Uh, I think no more predictions for the rest of the little thing. Ugh. Fuck. This guy's had so little HP for so long. I dodged into that. All right.
one at a time. This area is also, it doesn't help that this area is just a little bit slow. It's just a little slow. You just gotta sit here and like 1v1 these people as long as possible. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Stay strong, Ryan. You can do it. You can do this, Ryan. Thanks, guys. I can do it. It's just another lesson in you have less control than you think you do. I was pretty sure at the start of the stream, I was like, oh, yeah. We'll get some good progress. It's an extra stream. And since it's an extra stream, we'll get an extra bit of progress on the game. And while that's not entirely untrue, I would say the progress of today's stream is probably a zero or a maybe like a 0.5. <laughs> but that's okay. All I can do is try. Sometimes things don't come quite so easy. I just wish we were learning. What I, the other thing I wish is that I wish I was learning more from these attempts. Uh, cause I don't, I haven't felt a ton like I've learned a lot from the attempts. I just feel like I've sort of gotten. We've learned how to get there quickly, but we have not particularly learned how to, uh, there's not really like a window of opportunity up there yet. Cause we haven't really had anything that's been particularly close. How much fun have we had watching the stream? I've had fun streaming it, so I hope you guys have had fun. I hear him in time for Wheel of Games. You're in time. It'll probably be around 3, maybe 3.10 when we do it. We'll probably stop Dark Souls around 3 with a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of wiggle room in case I'm in the middle of dying to an archer. Hi, Panda. How's it going? No, please die. Please die. Oh, that one guy's going to fall off. Yes, he did. Thank God. Oh, no. I don't mind at all, Artifice. The reason the, we have the uh, English only rule in chat is just because uh, it's unfair to the moderators to like have whole conversations in other languages. Um... Yeah, otherwise, totally. It's a rite of passage. Dark Souls vets love watching people struggle at the archers. Oh, I bet you guys are having a blast today, then. <laughs> I think I'm just going to have to motherfucking fight this guy. You were on this exact same spot when I left? Yep. If I stand right here, if I stand right here, I cannot be hit. No, I like that, you little shit. <gasps> if there's another one, I swear to God, I'll cry. I'll do it. I'll cry. Yeah! Oh. oh baby oh baby give me a bonfire please please dear christ give me a bonfire fresh concrete patience is the play there panic is not the play patience is the play all you have to do is stand in that spot is this is a boss please no please no okay it's not a boss Oh, look at all this fresh con- This is freshly poured. Freshly poured in the Lord, in the land that is run by lords. Lord Rand. In anal Orlando, there is a world where the concrete is fresh, the sun is bright. Please, no enemies. Yo, that's my guy.
I actually don't know if this is Solaire, if that was the, uh... If Solaire is the name of where Lord Gwyn is... No, 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 no. What the fuck is the... This is the guy that I, uh, that I saw before. And a bonfire. That, but no bonfire has ever felt better than this bonfire right here. No bonfire has ever felt better. Oh. And Lore. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. Uh, I don't know, bud. I don't really love summoning people. That's the wrong button. Shit, I wanted to talk to you. Damn it. Um, chat, front seat question. Oh, I need to be careful about this. Uh... Never mind. Can we chat? I want to talk with you. There we go. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> so what if I do? Uh, do you got any feelings for me back? You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? Uh, if I didn't know better, hey chat, I can we get some uh feelings for me? Oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. Can we get some little in the hearts and chat <laughs> for uh, Ice, uh, who just got engaged in the Discord? Yeah, I mean they got it. Ice got engaged, but then posted it in the Discord. Congratulations. Okay, so now people have answered it for me in chat. I, I haven't asked it, but I I, I, <laughs> I was gonna ask if this person's name was Solaire, but people keep saying Bonk Solaire. So, uh, so this person's name is Solaire, huh? That's what I was, okay. Uh, Solaire equals Teletubby, Teletubby boy. Cause he's got the sun on his, on his face. Teletubby son. Hello, Solaire. Okay, let's go ahead and kindle this shit, and then uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of exploring in the next couple minutes because we have time. Um, I think I'm gonna use a twin humanity. Yeah, because this didn't. This is not already kindled. So we'll use a twin humanity so that we can do both. All right. Congrats, Ice. Uh, how did you, uh, you mind me asking uh, how you popped the question or how it went? I just love hearing stories about it. You don't have to tell us if you don't want to. All right, we'll kindle this and then we get to explore inside of this place. Oh, let's go. Strong fire. Strong fire. My friend. Why do we have a bonfire when there's a, when there's a, uh, um, I almost called it a campfire. When there's a, uh, fireplace. Jesus Christ. Fireplace right there. Fresh concrete. All right. I think I see an enemy over there. Fresh concrete. Hello. Who are you? Backstab, motherfucker. Backstab. You guys all said hearth, which is good, but I was just thinking of the simpler word fire pl place for fire is the word I was struggling to come up with. Okay, you're a little quick on your feet. You're making it kind of hard for me to backstab you. There you go. 
Been dating forever, planning to get married for a long time. We're really private and chill, so I asked her at home while we were chilling on the couch together. It was sweet and personal. If it had been public, she probably would have killed me. I love that. You know your audience. I love that. Congratulations, Ice. I think hearth is simpler. Uh, one syllable. It's definitely a uh, a shorter amount of syllables. I think it's not the first. I, I think it's like not the like at least here in the Midwest of America, we learn the word fireplace before we learn the word hearth by a long ways. Hearth would be like a be like a seventh or eighth grade vocab word, maybe. I don't know, fifth grade. Okay, you got a long. You do a lot of spinning, don't you? You do a lot of spinning. A hearth with timber inside of it? I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Hearth is kind of a rare word. It's a... Uh, it's definitely a more... Um, it just has a different connotation. Fireplace is very like every day. Oh, three sunlight medals? <gasps> I have four badges of the ultimate honor. Wow. Hearth has just like a different connotation to it too. Like a, it's like different uh, use case scenario, different, uh, like hearth runs in different circles than the word fireplace does, you know? What was that noise? Hearth is like a, Shakespearean fireplace is a uh, Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! I was like, this thing looks fucking weird. Let's go. Secrets. Let's go. Fresh fucking concrete. Ooh, uh, exclamation Lucas. Sorry. Uh, 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 fresh concrete. Where does this go? Oh, there's a little window. He oh my God. Is this, is this a level design moment? Is there a window here to show you that there is a way past? I love it when they do this shit. Oh. Oh. Exclamation fresh in the chat. <sighs> oh, baby. There was zero progress on this stream, and all of a sudden there was a lot. Fresh brick? Fresh concrete. Fresh, fresh concrete. Exclamation concrete in the chat. This is going to be my death. This room is going to be me dying. It's so dark. Mimic? You, bitch! You had to know. You had to know. It was obvious in hindsight. Never again. Game, you've hurt me. You're like, you're like that. Dark Souls 1 is like that relationship. In your late teens, early 20s, where you learn a little bit too much about how other people can be and how they are. You learn, you get to be a little bit too intimately familiar with the pain of what another human can do to you. An occult club, first off. Dark Souls has taught me some things, you know? Never again shall I blindly trust a chest. Havel. Oh, we have your ring. Oh, we met you. Wait, wait, we met you. You're the person who tried to hit me with the fang, right? That front seat question, Havel was the one with the fang, right? I bet we get it right here. Yes or no? Dragon tooth. Oh my God. I'm so excited for this armor and for the lore. Oh my God. A dragon tooth. Where is it? I love it when the game answers my front seat question. 
Uh, 40 strength? No. Great Hammer Strike, created from an everlasting Dragon Tooth. Legendary Great Hammer of Havel the Rock. The Dragon Tooth will never break as it is harder than stone and grants its wielder resistance to magic and flame. Uh. Great Shield of the Legendary Havel the Rock, cut straight from a great slab of stone. This Great Shield is imbued with the magic of Havel, provides strong defense and is incredibly heavy. A true divine heirloom on par with the gra the Dragon Tooth. It also shit. It also takes 50 strength to wield. I do love uh, exactly what you said, Gildenkrantz. The implication that the armor is too chonky to fit in one chest. How also? How else would they get you to to know it or to to accidentally open that mimic uh, if it wasn't a uh... helm worn by Havel the Rock's warriors, carved from solid rock? Its tremendous weight is matched only by the defense it provides. Havel's warriors never flinched nor retreated from battle. Those unfortunate enough to face them were inevitably beaten into a pulp. Same description. Same description and... Same description. Oh, baby, look at us. Look at us. I love that it makes a metal sound. Oh, yeah. We're a tank. Uh, we look like an... In a weird way, we look like a Overwatch character. I don't... That doesn't even make sense. Like an Overwatch character or something. I can't wait for this. Oh, yeah. Break the ground. Oh, yeah. We're a beefy boy. Can still run, though. That's kind of amazing. Oh, that's such a satisfying sound or uh, uh, animation. Oh, baby. And we got this. That was exciting. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, I think there's a door here, but I think otherwise we may call it here in a second. It's not open from this side, so we have to go up. There we go. We'll call it an episode there. I'm going to go rest at this bonfire. Ryan, did Ryan read the other item? Um, oh, no. Occult club. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Natalar. Um, let's read one more thing, and then, we'll, and then we'll call it. That way I don't forget to do it ever. And we get to spin the wheel of games. Occult club. It's a hammer. Simple wooden club, this simple bladeless strike weapon is effective against most foes. It is easily handled and can break the guard of a shield. However, a single miss makes one wide open, so timing and proximities are crucial. I enjoyed an occult club once. They ate a lot of poop. I've never been a part of an occult club. <clears throat> an, an occult club. It has a little shield icon on it, which I can't tell if that just means... It, yeah, it's a modifier. Interesting. What an ugly weapon. It's just a... You got a fucking big stick. Alright, we're gonna call it there. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you uh, another time, I think next week, for uh, for more Dark Souls. I'm sorry. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm sorry it took so long to get through the archers. I really tried. I really tried. But we got there eventually. Thank God. Thank God.